when people ask me about acting, I say, well, it's basically you do two things. You speak and you listen. Yeah. Listening is the hard part. Listening is the hard part. And the listening you spend your life yeah. learning to. And, and when I listen to, when I hear a great musician or when I act with a great actor, the silence that is with a, an actor yeah. opposite me who is a great actor, there is silence in the way they look at me. There yeah. is silence in the way they listen. Absolutely. And when I listen to, you know, a great pianist, when I listen to Gould, I hear silence. Yeah. I hear notes but I also hear spaces created by silence and that listening. Precisely. And for me as an audience member, I go, well, if they're not willing to listen to themselves, why should I be listening yeah. to them, you know? Yeah, exactly. And that's, that, 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 that concentration on the receptive skills is exactly what they learn to, to, to build out from. And then I, I, watch, I tell them to watch out for the zones of silence in the plays that they go to see. Where were those wonderful zones of silence? What was happening in those zones of silence? Because acting is not talking. Acting is interacting with other people. So, not that I should make a case for naturalism, but the top flight screen acting, film acting, is naturalism, yeah. but is deeply listening as well. Absolutely, you that's know? what makes it truthful. That only is what makes it truthful. Because acting, acting is an art, art is artificial. It's not actual, it's something that's created. And the creation of the illusion of what is natural is that art of truthful acting in that style. But acting, naturalism is a style like any other style, all acting of any kind whatsoever is done in some style or other. All acting is done in some style. Can you give other. me some examples uh, of the rules of naturalism, naturalistic style acting? Uh, I suppose some of my colleagues would do that for you quite <laughs> glibly and quite readily. I'm not interested, frankly, in naturalistic acting for the most part, or certainly not in teaching it. I leave that to my to my uh, colleagues who specialize in that area. But it is all about creating the illusion of something that is natural and happening at this moment. Mimicry. Well, but that would be imitating something. And that's not what this is, is it? This is actually creating new, fresh, every time discovering it all over again, all over again, every single time. That's partly what the autocour is, that you find something that happens that's striking, that's wonderful, that's exciting, or something that you want to explore a little more. See if you can allow, and that's the prime word of first term, first act, first year acting, allow. Do not attempt to make things happen. Allow things to happen if they do. And if they do, how can you feed more into it? How can you allow more to happen the second time? Now the style of naturalism came as a reaction to a style of acting that wasn't working before that. That had worked brilliantly, but had become tired, abused, and empty. And we're talking about? Uh, well, about high romantic acting, about what had become of great rhetorical acting over a couple of centuries, and had now become empty bombast, as Shakespeare says, sawing the air with your hand thus. And we're talking the end of the 19th century, 1880s, 1890s, 1900s? Um, 70s, uh, but it doesn't happen all at once. Um, a lot of the great rhetorical acting uh, persisted well into the 20th century. <laughs> I see it on the stages today. Well, that's maybe that's what you call ham acting, but no. Uh, the, real, the real rhetorical acting, I Do, have, Can you define rhetorical acting? Yeah, it's acting in a very elevated style in which all of the human values are uh, expanded to epic proportions. But 
How do you do that? Do you sing with the voice? Uh, you certainly need all of your faculties to be highly trained. Yes. But is rhetorical acting about truth, or is it about an about elevation truth. of style? All, all acting is about truth. You elevate the style, and you still have the truth. That's the, that's the trick. How far can you go? How big can you go and remain connected? But I remember as a young actress seeing the remains of rhetorical acting and went, don't want to do that. I don't believe it. I yeah. don't like it. Because it doesn't connect with me. I don't want to do it. Because it was empty. It may have been empty, but I'm just wondering, I was unable to connect to what truth there was in it. It may have been mostly empty, but there was some truth in it, and I was unable to connect to that delivery of truth. At that point in your life, perhaps. At that point in my life. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was, as I say to my kids in first year, acting in any, any form, all acting is done in a style. Naturalism is a style, like any other, and it's just as capable as any other of routine, of cliche, of falling into decay. But the acting <coughs> style is governed by the writing style. And the style of acting must be in harmony with the style of the writing. If not, you haven't a hope of being true.